guys so let me share with you guys the instructions as well so as you guys can see it comes with these four allen key bolts and it comes with these washer it kind of has like spikes in them so and it comes with this little extra padding it's like padding so i'm gonna take this out and show you guys the instructions so you guys can see what most of the time you get with these uh moving parts so it looks like this this is the part number at top semi bucket seat msz's this is not a full bucket seat a full bucket seat it will have more of like a sink down here and it will be having more padding down here and it feels like you're basically sitting in like a bucket seat most of the evo x's with their ricaros they're a bucket full bucket seats and i've sat in one i am guys i'm not a fan it feels like you're sitting like you get a bucket and you try to sit in the bucket it really feels like that and it's uncomfortable so this is how the instructions look it's in japanese guys comment below if you guys can read this let me know i've been trying for a couple years now trying to understand this read this but it's basically just the part number this is what you get the seats the four bolts that padding right you flip it over and it tells you oh look this shows you the little recliners there's a recliner here there's a recliner here okay reclining pretty simple guys now it shows you that little foam thing right foam uh part you put it back here so here's the seat right there's another part right here you stick that padding behind here and i feel like there's an opening yep my hand goes back there there's some padding back there and i stick that foam thing back there if i need more cushion back there so that's pretty dope and this is of course to recline the seat forward right here there's that thing on the side you use to recline the seat forward so that's it and basically guys that's the instructions and here we have another uh thing that came with it and this explains everything so mugen logo if you guys didn't know these seats came out in 2017 so not too long ago that these seats came out the mugen company is actually called mtech if you guys didn't know that so spooling you guys this is it right there mtech cloltd that's the owner pretty dope so if you guys didn't know i'm sending you guys some knowledge of the company all right guys let me know if you guys can read this because i'm still trying to it looks like different companies that these seats could fit in and here is the pictures of the seat so these are the full bucket seats they look very similar but the holes is a little bit different it has a car right there and it looks like a bucket seat it hugs you from all through the top right there all through the sides and it's like a little padding at the bottom like i tell you guys and it has like a little padding for your feet so it kind of seems like you're sitting on a bucket seat and then this is the one that i have which is dope and it shows you a different uh cars as well that this car that this seats fit in and it show you guys the rails i'm also going to show you guys the rails that i got to share the experience with you guys it uses uh, Ricard rails, but there's other rails you can use as well. And that's it, guys. This seat is meant for um, long driving and long distance and helping with fatigue. So what's awesome about these seats is um, they're very comfortable. So they have the padding for your shoulders, your size, and then your legs. But what they did for these seats, these semi-bucket seats, is they made it a little bit longer so it fits your whole bottom of your thigh it helps with fatigue and you're not getting tired while you're driving so that helps with the extra longer uh bolster where you get underneath your thigh so that extra padding down there while you're hanging your leg helps with um staying awake and longer drivability while you're driving so i thought that was pretty dope and i was amazing and is a must the recliners that i'm going to be using is bride type ro's so they will be able to work with the mugen miz semi bucket seat so i got them right here actually need to open them up i've been dreaming on in my head like i've seen it a life worth living is a life with me and i'll do what i love till my heart stops beating i'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break 
done staying strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong Need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on Taste on when I chase like that, yeah I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat Gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack No, it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up This how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough Yeah, I call your bluff, I'm not the one Mess with me, come out with none Cause I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun Cause I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Same thing for the other side. And when it's time to slide it up, all you gotta do is push down on this and slide this back. So it should look something like this. And then the other two bolts, it would just be the farthest one up here. Same thing with the other side, farthest one up here. Now it's time to go to the car, disconnect the battery and take out the whole seats and disconnect the sensors and stuff hey guys Ooh, look at the advanced rgd 2s man looking right looking good looks dope so now we're gonna pop the hood disconnect the battery we're gonna do that first i'm gonna do that i'm gonna take out these weather tag masks highly recommend guys if you have a nice or newer car and your rug on carpet is pretty clean get you some weather tech mats they make it for every make and model car so when i'm when I, after i take this out it is gonna look brand new underneath the rug which is dope so i'm gonna do that right now and this is the si stock seat still in good condition real nice it ain't boosted yet but get in there soon to disconnect the battery all you need is a 10 millimeter and basically after you unscrew everything lift everything up and everything should be good to go so gotta get to these two bolts in the front and then the rear <clears throat> all right guys so i'm gonna slide the chair all the way back and as you guys can see those two bolts right there 14 millimeter but there's the other 14 millimeter right there as you guys can see there's like a little cover on it if you wiggle it it comes off There we go. See back. And I'm gonna try to lift the seat up like this so I could disconnect these other pieces. The seat is in like this kind of position. This is where all the sensors are. So I gotta disconnect four of them. I disconnected one already. Disconnect this comes out like that oh here we go so you just there's some tabs on the east side you just pull up on those tabs and it comes out and these ones you just pull on this you just push push this clip down to get it out same thing with this one you push this clip down to get it out and then this one there's these side clips you push up and then it's like so either you could break these tabs in holding this whole harness together or you can um get like a little blade and use it to bend it back some. All right guys, so I just lifted up, manhandled it, folded it. 
This thing is no joke heavy. And guess what I forget? The seat belt. So I use like a little clip to uh okay. Never mind. So that just came off. Um and it looks like we have another bolt that's holding the seat. So we got another bolt right here. As you guys can see, I'm not trying to break these clips off. So I took this one off, holding one. It's a black one and then there's a clear one. If you use some type of uh, flathead and put, this is basically a zip tie. If you put where you zip tie it in, if you pull it down, you could stick another flathead and push the whole clip back and it'll free whatever the zip tie is holding on. So I'm trying to do that the right way so you guys can see. And I'm gonna try to do these ones as well. So these are the little clips I'm talking about. There's basically a zip tie. And you guys, if you guys know, if you guys push this thing down in the middle and then pull this through, it will come off. Same thing with these. If you push down on this clip, this one, I got all of these off without breaking them off. So now the seatbelt is off. Seatbelt is right here. So now I got to put the seatbelt on the other one. So pretty dope. This is how the inside looks. The two bolts are going to be up here. And the rear bolt is going to be right there. So the seat's out. Got to vacuum this. I already got the shop vac ready. Now I just got to get the extension cord and plug it in. Boom. Extension cord is already there. So just got to vacuum in here real quick. And then start it in the other seat. Bring the seat over here. And we're good to go. All right, guys. A little status update. So the seat rails comes with this little bolt. This little thing. So this will be for the seat belt itself. So... I had to go buy a nut and washer for this side and this is going to be like right here so I can't just stick this part in and not have a nut hold it right for the seat belt so I had to go to the store and buy that this is the nut it's an N1620 this is the washer I had to go a little bit bigger that's the size of the washer so you guys can see that's it right there so time to install this it's getting a little bit dark on me it's always a little hiccup to slow the process down, but it is what it is. But I'm just gonna go like this. Something like this. Oops. Out of the way. Stick it in here. here. This part is in. Now I'm just gonna vacuum the seat real quick. And put the seat in pretty much. And just put the four bolts back in. Put the other side seat belt on and that's it put the clips back in the sensors back in it's only going to be two sensors the white and the yellow one put those back in and we're done all right got the seat in now i just gotta line it up all right guys so it's the next day i didn't even notice this but the seat is kind of like a different fabric and then in here is like alcantara i don't know if you guys can see that if it's picking up in the camera but pretty dope so the bolt that the bride seat, bride seat rails uh, provided is this. This goes right here for the seat belt that's hanging right there. So I'm going to take the stock bolt out and put this one in. The end result will look like this. This little thing is going to be in the way. You could either flip it this way or the opposite way. But if you flip it the opposite way, it's going to be kind of like this. So I just left it like that. So it looks like that. I'm going to clean this belt up a little bit. But just got to bolt down the seats. This right here, the two on that side, two in the rear. Um, so I noticed if to bolt this down, you got to start from the rear. So someone has to push on it. Then it lines up perfectly and then someone has to put the bolts in so it's kind of like a two-person job but everything's good the clicker is there back them out here you guys can see the bolts are in in the rear see belt is in Just like that. i'm working on the other side you already loosened all the four bolts yep recline the seat and then unplug all the sensors, tilt the whole thing back, unclip everything back here, still have everything clipped on. Seat belt latch. So the bolt for that is exposed, so you just gotta take the bolt out. 
So one, you gotta stick a flathead in there, and then the yellow one, you gotta stick one inside of there. So I still got these clips, so I still got these clips on. This whole seatbelt thing is off now. And now, the last seat, box for the passenger seat right. Passenger side, as we have the seat upside down. Doing the same thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Second hole there. Yep. Yeah. We're putting on the, the click. The car. But what I'm gonna do next is vacuum the side where you can't see or get to before we put it in. So you just put it in there from this side and in. So we gotta clip those things up underneath there. Make sure the clicker has enough space. Yep, these are clicked in. She looks like that. Hey guys, so just finished up everything as you guys can see. Got both of the seats in there. Mugen, MSZs, Recaro. Recaro's, oh man, your car's feel nice. Just vacuuming up in here. Looking brand new. Got the seat rails. SI mask still looking clean. Man, whoo, these seats look fire in here. They said identical basically to the SI seats. And then you come into the back seat and look. You got the Mugen logo in the rear. Jeez, these things look beautiful. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. I'm loving how the seats came out inside of the interior of the car. The seats look amazing. But guys, I'm gonna need your help and I'm gonna keep saying this at the end of every video. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Guys, if you guys can smash the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, the plan is to boost the car either being supercharged or turbo. The goal is at least over 400 horsepower. So comment below if you guys think I should go supercharger or if I should go turbo. But the thing is this, guys, I'm not just gonna put a supercharger turbo on the car and that's it. When you see the engine bay, you open up the engine bay, it's gonna look fire. Smashing the like button helps the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps the channel a lot and also sharing the channel. If you guys can spread the word and share the channel, let them know that I will be boosting the car, but I need your love and support to go ahead and boost the car. It will definitely help speed up the process a little bit more and help the vision that I want for the car. So definitely guys, tune into the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you could be notified on everything that drops. And also guys, there is a lot of mods coming for the Shelby GT350 as well. So definitely stay tuned. But that's it guys. If there's anything that you guys want to achieve, find your inner drive, the thing that drives you to take a step toward your goals every single day and make it happen. Peace. Yeah.